Good evening, baseball fans. You are tuning in to Houston Astros Network, and we are here for Game 4 of the 2015 AL Division Series. Our hometown Houston Astros have a 2-1 game lead over the Detroit Tigers in this one, meaning with a win today, the Houston Astros would advance on to the AL Championship Series to take on the Seattle Mariners. And there you see the skipper of the Detroit Tigers, Brad Ausmus. And let's take a look at his lineup for today's matchup. Leading things off in center field will be Austin Jackson. Batting second, playing shortstop is Jose Iglesias. Batting third, playing first is Miggy. And in the cleanup spot will be the big bat of Curtis the Grandy Man Granderson. And on the mound today for the Astros opposing that lineup will be the ace, Julio Tejeron, who went 13-8 with a 3.98 ERA and 197 strikeouts on the season. He got the loss in game one of the Yale deaths, but he is here looking to close things out for the Astros. Working with an 0-2 cat here on Austin Jackson. Tehran with the kick. And the pitch, and that's taken for an inside strike. The slider locks up Austin Jackson. He goes down looking. 1-2 count now on Miguel Cabrera. Two outs in the inning. The kick and the pitch from Tehran is grounded to the third baseman, Todd Frazier. He takes his time, fires the first, and that is how the first top of the first inning goes. We are now scoreless still. As Julio Tehran pitches a gem, we'll be right back here at Houston Astros Network. Welcome back to Houston Astros Network. We are here in the bottom of the first inning, and there you see Bo Porter in the lineup that he's put together. In leading things off in center field will be Rafael Ortega. Batting second, playing second, Jose Altuve. Batting third, playing first is Kendrys Morales. And in the cleanup spot is the DH, Chris Carter. Opposing that lineup will be the man who did get the win in game one. He pitched an amazing game, 20-7 in the regular season with a 222 strikeouts and a 3.18 ERA. The AL Cy Young winner will be looking to give the Detroit Tigers some more time. 1-0 count now on Rafael Ortega. The pitch is going to be grounded up the middle, and that is off the glove of Jose Iglesias as the speed from Rafael Ortega was probably just a bit intimidating as Iglesias wasn't able to field that one. And we've got a base runner now on the top of the first. Jose Altuve digging in now for the Astros. Berliner getting set. Here comes the pitch, and Ortega's taken off for second. He slides in safely way before the throw. The throw from the weak arm Wilson Ramos was not in time at all. And we've got a runner on second now with one out as Kendrys Morales steps in for the Astros now. The kick and the pitch from Verlander is given a ride in a deep left field. That one's going to get back to the wall, and it's off the wall. Ortega is going to round third now. Morales is going for third as well. Ortega's going to score, and Morales barely slides in safely as he hits a triple after hitting it off the wall in left field. Now we've got two outs of the inning after the Astros take the lead. 1-2 count on George Springer. The pitch is going to be grounded to Kelly Johnson. Morales is going to score, but Kelly Johnson lays out, makes the play, and throws out the speedy George Springer at first. What a play from the veteran third baseman. As the pitching coach is going to come out and talk to Verlander now. 0-2 count on Todd Frazier. George Springer now on second, two outs in the inning. The kick and the pitch from Verlander is going to be popped up sky high to the second baseman, Ian Kinsler. And he puts that one away for the third out of the inning. And that is how the first inning wraps up. The Astros have a 2-0 lead off three hits. We'll be right back here at Houston Astros Network. Welcome back to Houston Astros Network. We are here at the top of the second inning. Curtis Granderson leading things off. The kick and the pitch from Tehran is going to be ripped into deep left field. That one's going to get back to the track. It hits off the wall in left center as Curtis Granderson is going to have himself a standoff double to lead things off for the Tigers in the top of the second. And if they're going to look to get back things in this ball game, they're going to need that. 1-1 one, one count now on Wilson Ramos. The pitch from Tehran is grounded to the second baseman, Altuve. He takes his time, fires the first. And we've got one out with a runner on third now for the Tigers. Next batter up is the left fielder, Nelson Cruz. 1-2 count on him. Tehran getting set. The kick and the pitch. He's going to be grounded to the first baseman, Rouse. He steps on first, fires the plate, but Curtis Grandison is just too fast as he slides in. 
And he makes this a 2-1 to one ball game now. Astros still in the lead. Two adds to the inning now as Alex Avila digs in. Tehran getting set for the Astros. The kick and the pitch is going to be given a ride in the deep right field. That one's going to get back. It looks like it could, but it doesn't. It dies out right at the warning track as George Springer puts it away. The Tigers do come across for one as it's now a 2-1 to one ball game. We'll be right back here at Houston Astros Network. Welcome back to Houston Astros Network. We are here in the top of the fifth. One out, one two count on Alex Avila. The kick and the pitch from Tehran is going to be given a ride in the deep right field. That's going to get back to the track, to the wall. It's off the wall as Ortega's not able to get there. Springer's going to have to come around, field that one. But Alex Avila has himself a triple, a one out triple here in the top of the fifth. And the Tigers looking like they could tie things up. 0-2 count here on Ian Kinsler. Tehran getting set. The kick and the pitch is going to be grounded down the right field line as it kicks off the first base bag and over the head of Kendrys Morales. And the runner comes in to score and Ian Kinsler has himself a seeing eye if you want to call it that single. One out still in the inning. 1-0 count here on Kelly Johnson. The pitch is grounded to Morales. He's going to flip to the pitcher, Tehran, as he steps on first. And now we've got two outs, runners on second for the Tigers. But they did tie up the ball game. Top 0-2 count now on Austin Jackson. The pitch is swung on, and it's grounded to Altuve. He's going to take his time, fire to first. And that is the third out of the inning. But not before the Dugers. The Tigers do strike for one, as it's now a 2-2-2 game in the middle of the fifth. We will be right back here at Houston Astros Network. Welcome back to Houston Astros Network. We are here in the bottom of the fifth inning with one out. The kick and the pitch from Tehran to Ortega is lined in the right field. That's going to land it for a base hit. Austin Jackson gets there before it heads into the gap as that's only a single for Ortega. But nonetheless, that is a single and that is a very, very fast man on first base for the Astros. Altuve digging in now for the Astros. Verlander getting set as Ortega takes off for first. The throw is out. But he heads back, he heads, he had to go in a second now, and I don't know what Wilson Ramos is doing, but Rafael Ortega has himself a stolen base as he fakes that Wilson Ramos. 1-0 count now on Altuve. The pitch from Verlander is line up the middle, that's going to head into center field, Ortega's going to round third, head home. There's going to be a close play at the play, and it's just not in time as Ortega slides in and gives the Astros a 3-2 lead off the double from Jose Altuve. 2-2 count now on the DH, Chris Carter with two outs. Here's the kick and the pitch from Verland. That's grounded up the middle into center field. Altuve is going to round third, head home. He's going to score on the play as the throw is cut off and is now a 4-2 Astros lead thanks to the bats of Altuve and then Chris Carter. 0-1 count now on Todd Frazier with runners on first and second. The pitch from Verlander is going to be grounded to the third baseman, Kelly Johnson. He fires the first, and he gets out Frazier at first, and that is the final out of the inning. But not before the Astros come across for two more. It's now a 4-2 lead for the Astros. We'll be right back here at Houston Astros Network. Welcome back to Houston Astros Network. We are in the top of the ninth inning as Tehran's looking to get himself a complete game. 0-2 count to Miggy. And that swung through the slider. Miguel Cabrera goes down swinging. And we are two outs away from the Astros clinching a spot in the ALCS. 1-2 count now on Curtis Granderson. The kick and the pitch from Tehran. That's given a run in the deep left field. That's out of here in the left field seats. Curtis Granderson makes this a one-run ball game now as he crosses the plate. And after the solo shot from the Grandy man... That's going to cause Bo Porter come out of the Astros' dugout, single the bullpen that he wants the left-hander, and without a doubt, that is going to mean Doolittle's going to come in the game as Tehran gets a nice congratulations from his manager as he pitched one hell of a ball game, only allowing two runs and getting the win. As long as John Doodle can keep the lead, with we are up 4-3 to three with one out in the inning. As there you see Dougal's numbers, he's appeared in one game so far. He has one save, but he's also blown 
He also has a 9.00 ERA, which is not solid at all. Hopefully that's not going to come into play here. 1-2 count on Wilson Ramos. The pitch is swung through the up and in fastball as Wilson Ramos goes down swinging. And we are all of a sudden one out away from another Astros ALCS. 0-2 count here on Nelson Cruz. The pitch is grounded to the second baseman Altuve. He spins, fires the first, and that's how the cookie crumbles as the Astros celebrate as they have taken a 3-1 lead in the series, and that means that they advance to the ALCS to take on their interdivision rivals, the AL West winners, the Seattle Mariners. As the Astros celebrate, they have to be extremely happy with themselves. They just beat the best team statistically in Major League Baseball. And they have got to be feeling extremely good with themselves going into this series against the Seattle Mariners. Down to the field now for our top player of the game in Rafael Ortega. As he came up to the plate four times to the Astros, got two hits, scored twice, and was a key catalyst to this Astros win in clinching their spot in the ALCS. And with that being said, that'll wrap things up here at this ball game at Minute Maid Park. Don't forget to take a look at the box score on your way out. And also, don't forget to tune in next time here at Houston Astros Network as we will be in Seattle for Game 1 of the ALCS.